Dan Harding with Power Modeon and Active Interest Media. Today I'm lucky enough to find myself off Sweden with Volvo Penta testing their joystick driving. It was just announced a couple days ago and I gotta say the, the joystick has made heroes out of a lot of people with, with IPS over the years, myself included. The joystick driving added functionality to something that you already thought was pretty good, couldn't you really get much better. But this has got a lot of cool tricks I want to show you guys. Right here, this will be the button for your for your joystick driving. We go ahead and nudge us forward. Now just put us in gear and turning left. See. So All right. So now as we want to speed up, as your throttle. let it go you're gonna stay you're gonna stay at that speed and then you can put your palm here and you can really kind of steer to port or to starboard when you let go it'll keep you on that course and then when you're going straight you can control the autopilot with a couple short turns there pull that pull that screen up There you can see the audio autopilot functionality. Two ticks left. It's a couple degrees to port. But really, it puts really negates needing the throttles or the wheel. I'm gonna try to pull pull us back a little bit. We immediately slow down and you keep holding it there. We're gonna shift into neutral and you pull back a little more on the here and we're into reverse cool thing, I think this is a really smart safety touch, is when you let go of the reverse, you find yourself in neutral. Again, one click forward, put you in gear. We're gonna turn, turn to port. And head back to the slope. Definitely takes a little, takes a little bit of getting used to. But this is joystick driving from Volvo Penta. It's going to be a very popular option in the years to come. And it's really going to change, I think, what you could do with the modern helm setup. Stay tuned for the full report, an upcoming issue of Power Murdiot.